We've just watched in the last couple of minutes as they pulled the bus out of the house. They've obviously had to take a lot of safety precautions, make sure the power was disconnected and structurally that it was okay for them to do that. So emergency services have been on site here for a couple of hours assessing that. And as I say, just in, in the last minute or so, we've seen the bus emerge. What we know so far is that uh, the bus and a truck uh, had a collision just um, on a T intersection just off camera. And so they've collided and that sent the bus through this first house where it's clipped the roof. It's then continued through uh, the fence into the neighbouring property where it was lodged firmly uh, into the front room of that house. And as I say, they've just managed to pull it out now. So we know that the 44-year-old who was driving the bus and a 17-year-old passenger were both taken to hospital. We haven't had updates, but we do know they were taken with non-life-threatening uh, injuries, but they have been taken to a nearby hospital. There was uh, another passenger that was also treated at the scene who just had minor injuries. So fortunately, no one was in the house at the time. Uh, one of the owners has uh, come onto the, the scene uh, in the aftermath to, to see what's, what's happened. Here's a little of what he had to say. I received a phone call saying there was a uh, bus in my living room, or our living room. This is a beach house owned by my mother, and uh, myself and my sisters use it as a holiday house and a weekender. No, we can't enter the property until it's uh, been secured and, the, of course, the bus removed, and we're allowed to do so. So very fortunate that no one was inside the property at the time. Obviously, the, the process of rebuilding and the investigation into the crash uh, will now begin.